What's happening my friends, Joker here with some more Destiny gameplay from the Trials of Osiris. And this week's Trials takes place on the new House of Wolves map called Black Shield. The gameplay that you're watching comes from two flawless runs that I had, starting with my Sunsinger Warlock using the Starfire Protocol and my Discipline at 100%, and then my Golden Gun Hunter using the Acleophage Symbiote as well as Discipline at 100%. Yet these runs were still not without their fair share of troubles, as we experienced some major lag problems encountering certain players that had god-awful connections. Connections. So that's still something that Bungie really needs to fix and like ASAP, man. Anyways, I'd like to share with you my preferred loadouts here at Trials of Osiris. And for those of you that have probably watched some of the previous Crucible highlight videos that I've posted over the past few months, then this will seem very, very familiar to you all. So first up, my preferred primary weapon is the Mida Multi-Tool. I've been using this weapon exactly as follows since the winter time, and it still hasn't failed on me. I keep all of the perks at stock settings. I don't change anything about the ballistics or try to alter anything because of recoil concerns. In fact, I don't find anything wrong at all with the stock recoil of this weapon, so I figure there's no reason to change the ballistics package. Likewise, I also believe that the plus two agility perk is a big plus for all classes, and since every other player these days is using Thorn, the Mida can actually counter the Thorn pretty effectively, and here's why. Thorn is considered OP because you can successfully kill a person with a two-shot headshot. Now that becomes significantly harder to pull off if you're shooting your Thorn against an enemy that can strafe significantly well and that can actually evade your shots very quickly. Now how do you evade someone very fast? Well, you have maxed out agility. So using the Mida Multi-Tool with the plus two agility perk combined with a maxed out agility spec with whichever subclass you're using gives you a far greater chance to successfully evade the fire from a Thorn user. And just to clarify, I am not saying that the Mida Multi-Tool on paper statistically can outgun the Thorn. It is a statistical fact that the Thorn's time to kill is far greater than the Mida Multi-Tool if you had two AI enemies firing the weapons at the exact same time at one another's heads. However, since we're not fighting against some god mode AI, and most of the time you're going to encounter players that are not using aimbots, and if they are, then they're cheating and they're probably going to get banned soon anyways, you are dealing, generally speaking, with human beings that are always subject to human error. Therefore, just because a weapon has great, amazing specs on paper doesn't immediately guarantee that the user of that weapon is also going to match their skill levels to those said amazing specs. One thing to note about Mida Multi-Tool is it's rather decent hipfire accuracy at close range. Now this isn't a game changer of a mechanic that's going to be the reason you use this gun, but it is something you need to keep in mind when things get a bit rough and you're trying to evade from a close quarters enemy and you don't have enough time to switch to a shotgun or a more efficient close quarters weapon. If you combine hip firing with strafing around or blinking away from enemies, you actually do have a significant chance at winning that duel. Now let's move on to special weapons. The special weapon that has been my go-to in the past few months has actually been Two to the Morgue, which is a Dark Below DLC Crucible Vendor Shotgun. This specific Two to the Morgue that I'm using was actually a solar version that I earned as a reward when I ranked up my Crucible rank a few months back, and the perks it included were Who's Next, a kill in the final round of the magazine increases reload speed, and Shot Package. Aiming this weapon reduces the spread of its projectiles. And in terms of the other perks, I am sticking to the stock perks, so I'm sticking with Linear Compensator and quick draw. I haven't changed either of these perks, although I could change quick draw down to snapshot, which is the next choice, but this setup has been quite nice, and I honestly haven't found the need to change it. Although the range is significantly better with Felwinter's Lie and Party Crasher, the fire rate of 2 to the Morgue really balances out its shortcomings. And I think that's the reason that I continue to prefer this shotgun over Party Crasher, as it's really helped me out a lot in those very tight situations as I experience a lot in both of these runs. Now moving on to heavy weapons. With my Hunter, I was using Radagast's Fury as it was decently balanced using the Battle Runner, Flared Magwell, and Tracking perks. But then with my Warlock, I was sticking with just the Hunger of Crota. This is because my general idea about heavy weapons in Trials is that you want something that's efficient, that'll get the job done, and that is all around the best rocket launcher you have available for your given class that you're on, but also that you keep in mind the possibility that you might not even obtain heavy ammo depending on how that heavy round turns out. So I highly discourage you from loading out with any sort of exotic heavy weapon unless that specific weapon happens to be the best one that you have available across all categories of weapons for your class. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you all found something useful here that can help you out as you venture forth in Destiny's Trials of Osiris. My name is Joker, wishing every one of you the best of luck, and I hope that none of you have to go through the horrendous lag problems that I was experiencing in Trials earlier this weekend. Like this video if you liked it, and thank you for hanging out and watching. I'll see you next time.